Hi, this is Michael Orl from MobileBurn.com and this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0, a Wi-Fi only Android 4.0 tablet. It's on sale for $249.99, putting it in direct competition with the Amazon Kindle Fire. Okay, so here's the Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 in its box. Let's just open it up, pull everything out. Power up right hand corner here, start it up, and we'll see what else comes inside the box. It's the uh, Samsung charger with the US adapter, just clicks in there. Obviously, we're going to find a USB cable somewhere. Uh, terms and conditions, user guide, and here's the USB cable with the proprietary connector, and that's uh, all that's been included. So let's take a look at the hardware. Up front and center we have the 7 inch display, 1024 by 600 pixels. You can see the design sported by the Tab 2 7.0 um, is similar to the new 10.1 we saw released in Europe. Um, it's courtroom friendly so it doesn't uh, look exactly like an Apple iPad. Uh, forward facing VGA resolution camera. Flip the device on its side and you can see we've got a power button here volume control and the IR blaster port can be used with uh, included software to control your TV, home audio, entertainment system, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, the tablet is 10.5 millimeters thick and has a nice uh, rounded design. I'll show you the back in a second. Dual speakers flank the proprietary Samsung port here. And to back up the 8 gig of internal storage we now have a micro SD memory card slot so you can put in a card as large as 32 gigabytes bump the total up to 40 gig. And on the very top of the tablet we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone port and then of course the secondary microphone. Take a look at the back again you can see the rounded feature that I was talking about. Rear facing 3 megapixel camera um, a nice satin finish on what's a kind of a bronzy gray color scheme Quite attractive and it feels pretty good in the hand too. Since it suits the camera better, I'm going to use the Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 in landscape mode, but of course everything works in portrait mode as well. Here's the home screen. We've got five home screen panels, as you can see little dots up at the top. Controls down the bottom here, back, home, task switcher, and screenshot. And I'll show you how those all work. This little arrow here brings up Samsung's mini applications. These applications are overlaid on the screen and you can actually interact with the screen application that's running in the background while the mini apps are running, which is pretty cool. Notification area. See the little animation there showing you that you can move left and right. Quick access to the settings. Main menu up top. There's a couple different views. Um, you can look at widgets or applications and when you're in applications you can even reorder things. So you could have you know one page full of games for example or you can always go into a simple alphabetic view. You'll see how things put back into alphabetic order. Let's go over and add a widget or two. say the AccuWeather widget. Just drop that in there. I'm going to place a few application shortcuts here as well just so I can show you some tricks. See so I've got Dropbox right here. Uh, the Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 comes with uh, one year's worth of 50 gig of storage on Dropbox which is pretty cool. That's a $100 value at current rates. And one last thing here. You'll notice some things appearing across the top of the screen as I'm moving icons down. For example, folder. Created that folder right there and then I can easily drop other things into it. You can resize many widgets. Long press and release and then I can resize it. And if I want to get rid of it, I can long press and drag it up to the trash can. 
You notice that Google search is built into the home screen right there. It's always appearing at the top. Here is the Samsung keyboard. You can change keyboards by tapping down here in the notification area, but um, there's only one keyboard pre-installed. There's no swipe or anything else like that right now. You can add your own third-party keyboards though. Hit the home key. Hit the home key again. Go back to the center panel. And I'm going to show you how you take a screenshot. And it's going to pull it up into an editor so you can very easily annotate it. For example, I have a pen here. I'm going to pick a dark green. And then I can just start doodling on and then save it when I'm done. Kind of like the Galaxy Note series. OK, so let's jump into the main menu. And I'm going to pull up the email application so you can see what it looks like. Nice split screen view. Choose the folder over here. And then you see the contents on the right hand side. And when you tap on one of the messages, everything slides over. You see some formatted text here. There's an attachment. I'll download that. I'm on a Wi Fi connection because, of course, there's no um, 3G connectivity built into. and it pulls up Polaris Office so we can take a look at the document. And then I just hit the back button here to go back to the email message. You can have multiple accounts configured. I also have a Gmail account configured in the standard email app. But naturally there is also dedicated Gmail application which supports full functionality of Gmail including priority inbox. And as I showed before we have the mini apps down here at the bottom so you can quickly get to the email that way. Combined view right here tap on the arrow to go to the full application and again the combined view here jump back and if I were to do the same thing with the calendar then easily get into the calendar as well if I didn't want to go through the main menu bunch of different views here you can have a overall look at the year month week day and then of course the agenda view let's take a look at the web browser tabbed interface so it's easy to manage multiple web pages this is the stock Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich browser but you can also use the very capable Chrome beta that's uh, available from Google in the Google Play Store uh, which of course was formerly known as the Android market smooth scrolling the uh, 1 gigahertz dual core processor seems to do quite well doesn't have to push around too many pixels a relatively low resolution display HTML5 video support as well as Flash, so you see um, embedded videos and everything like that work just fine. Pull up a new tab, and you have access to recent bookmarks. Uh, let's pull up ESPN. Everything renders pretty quickly. So let's jump into the main menu and take a look at some of the applications that are included. You see the Amazon Kindle Reader as well as uh, Google's own Books application. I already mentioned Dropbox. Uh, of course, there's a contacts application that integrates with uh, Facebook and Twitter and things like that, as well as Gmail Exchange. Gallery application. Instagram works on this device. Google Plus and Messenger, Netflix support built in. Um, nice photo editor as well. And of course, a video editor too. Samsung includes its own music player. You can see the widget right here, or it's also accessible from the mini app. But the Google Cloud based music player is also included. Just want to give you a quick demonstration of the camera. You can shoot still photos, 3 megapixel resolution. You can also shoot 720p video. You can see shortcuts here are configurable which is pretty handy and just record a quick video here and we can play it back
And just because the devices are targeting the same demographic, here's the Samsung right next to the Amazon Kindle Fire. The Samsung's a little bit thinner and definitely has a uh, smoother type design. But in terms of total size and weight, they're pretty close to each other. So that's a quick look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0, a very affordable Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich tablet. It's on sale for $249.99, which is a pretty aggressive price point considering it has uh, dual cameras, micro SD expansion, dual core processor. It's actually quite nice. So, for mobileburn.com, I'm Michael Oral. Thanks for watching.